Okay, we're back at it again. It's Saturday, February 11th, I think. Um, and I just got my helicoil set from Amazon in the mail. Um, it's one day shipping, pretty slick. Or same day shipping, I, I got it ordered last night at like midnight. And it came just now. And it's, I don't know, 4 or 5. Yeah, 3.45. <coughs> Anyway, um, so I just stuffed the oil passages and everything up that uh, that's down below that one. This is the one I'm drilling out. So the oil passages below that are stuffed up um, so that no chips can go in there. And yeah, basically um, little helicoils or helicoils. Uh, it's just a threaded insert. Uh, it comes with a tap, and so this one is an M6, which is the size of the bolts I'm using. Um, anyway, you drill it out uh, with a quarter inch drill bit, and luckily I have my stubbies, which will be nice, uh, so that I can actually get it in there fairly easily. Um, anyway, I drill it out, and then I tap it with the tap that's included in the kit, and then there's this install tool, but basically it just threads in there and locks, and uh, then you're set. It's really cold today, at least in the garage. It was like 35 or 40 degrees outside, but for some reason I'm really cold now. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, so I will go ahead and get set up and... We'll get started on it. Now the main thing with this, you want to be really sure that you're drilling perpendicularly into whatever you're drilling into. So I'm trying to just align myself really well <clears throat> and go for it. go okay so now same thing with your tap um, I'm gonna you want to lubricate this at any rate but I'm gonna go ahead and grease it with just random multi-purpose grease um, and that should help keep the uh, the chips that I'm cutting off on the the threads instead of dropping down all over the place or inside the engine because that's not what we want so I'm going to go ahead and tap it, um, but this is the grease I'm using. Just any kind of grease, and then you coat the flutes. And then I just have this little tiny crescent wrench to spin it with. There you can see that the grease and the flutes kind of trapped all of those, or at least the majority of those chunks, and you can just wipe those right off. Now this install tool, it has kind of a lip on it right there. And that lip kind of grabs on to the little lip that's on the inside and allows it to tighten. There we go. Sits nice and flush. Grab this and threads right in. Yeah, so there's that. 
that went uh, a lot smoother than I thought it would. Um, but I'm not sad about that. So, uh, yeah, really good buy. It was expensive, um, like $27.99 or something like that. Um, but honestly, 27 bucks to fix the engine block is pretty cheap. So that's in there. Looks really good. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any issues because now I'm actually going to be able to torque it and uh, that should stop my oil leak. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more pass on everything and make sure it's all uh, clean before I pull out my before I pull out the sealer again and so um, yeah that's it that's a super simple fix real clean real nice hopefully I don't have any more issues because of it um, or from an oil leak down there so yeah that's going to be it for today. Pretty short video, but that's how you install a helicoil. And uh, yeah, happy about it. Glad to be able to put my car back together. And uh, thank you, Amazon Same Day Shipping. That's one of the perks of living um, basically within a major city that Amazon has headquarters in. That's really cool. And uh, yeah, couldn't find it local? Thank you, Amazon. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for today. Um, yeah, now it's just putting everything back together. Um, you can check out some of my other videos. I have one that specifically shows you how to do everything on the timing, um, shows you how to put the rear cover on. Um, it's just the head gasket series. Uh, that kind of stuff would be on day 9, 10, and 11, I think. Uh, so if you're interested in that, check out those specific days but check out the whole head gasket series because because that's what I've been doing lately anyway that's it um, thanks for watching we'll see you next time